What's up, Park Hoppers? This is Lee. I'm back with another video, and I'm here at the Nomad Lounge. Now, I wanted to come to Animal Kingdom and see Pandora at night. Um, actually, I've never done that, uh, admittingly. So, uh, I wanted to check that out. And then, looking through the Florida sky tonight, uh, there were some dark clouds that were going to come through, and we're like, mm, maybe we should try to... Uh, get indoors for a little bit and have a small plate or something like that. So I uh, found the Nomad Lounge, which is right next to one of my favorite places to eat Tiffin's. And um, gonna do a little uh, review of this place because this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, we're sitting right along the water and the rain's coming down. It's absolutely uh, stunning. So check it out. Let's see what we ordered and see what we ate. All right, guys, here we go. So they sat us outside and I loved every bit of it. Uh, what an amazing view. The bridge, the water, the lily pads on the water, all those trees, different shades of colors out there. It was stunning. Weather came in, it started to downpour, which to me just added to the overall experience. If that's not your thing, you can request inside seating. Just let your server or your host know when you go to check in if you have a reservation. Now, let's have a closer look at that menu. This is a lounge, so it's really just a few small plates. It's really meant to go and relax, take a load off your feet, have a couple of drinks. Um, there were some kiddos there, so it is family friendly, um, but they primarily are serving or offering uh, alcoholic beverages for the adults and of course these small plates that you just saw. Um, looking at the adult beverage menu, it's got everything that you need all their signature drinks are there with picture references which i kind of like curious to see if i order if what i order comes out looking like what they show in the picture because i don't know about you but many times i've seen a picture of something and ordered it and when they bring it out it doesn't look anything like it but it's very curious to see how drinks would come out after we ordered so we'll get to that in just a second now all the drinks are about the same price going rates for Disney anywhere from you know nine dollars to fifteen dollars depending on what you order um, there is a front and back menu of adult beverages um, but the small plates are very limited I was hoping they'd have a little more of a selection but again it's a lounge so that's to be expected the prices of the small plates about the same to somewhere around the price of twelve to sixteen dollars uh, depending on what you get they do have I think a lobster mac that is a little more expensive just because of the contents. So here's what we ordered, the High Tower Rocks, okay? No picture of that though, so I had nothing to compare it to, but it does have the tequila and watermelon and a sour mix. Um, very good, very heavy with the watermelon. It tasted like watermelon, as you would expect. Um, but presentation was on point, in my opinion. I really uh, like that, found it very refreshing. The other drink was the Spice Trader Classic, $13. It's a gin, vermouth, lemon juice, and strawberries, topped with some club soda. Uh, very good, presentation was there. It looked just like the picture, even down to the detail in the glass. Uh, I thought that was very good, very refreshing. Now for food, the small plates we ordered was a Nomad Bowl uh, with the chicken. I love the dishware here. I think that's very, uh, very elegant. But the chicken Manchurian, $13 there. It was very good. I can't complain about that. Little bit on the spicy side. And the other small plate was the uh, ribs. Uh, that went for, I think, about $10, right? Not too expensive, but the smoked pork, pork ribs, excuse me, uh, went for about 10 bucks. Very good. Not a real big fan of the ribs in, in a small plate fashion just because I get my hands dirty. Um, don't want to do that, but can't deny it. The flavor was there. Uh, very good. Now, I did get one other drink. It's called the Night Monkey. Uh, it's got dark rum in there and some coffee simple syrup and even a little bit of cilantro. It sounded very interesting to me, so I wanted to give it a shot. Very good. It looked just like the picture. Again, so... Hats off to Disney for getting the visualizations right in their menu uh, with the drinks that they brought out. All right, Park Hopper, so we're here at the Nomad Lounge. This place has been uh, a blast. This has been a lot of fun to sit at, to wait out the storm, the rain. I could, I could see uh, sitting here 
it was hot, just enjoying a drink or something and a small plate, uh, just to kick back and relax for a little bit. Um, but definitely can't wait to go check out Pandora. And is that, is that a, is that drone 3 PO? Is that a J sighting? Is that J? That's not him. Is it? Okay, Power Popper, so we just got out of the Nomad Lounge and I am going to experience walking through Pandora at night for the first time. And I'm already amazed at the vibrant colors. Uh, this looks absolutely amazing. I know the camera's not picking it up, but I'm gonna try to take some photos. If you have never seen this, you have got to come to Animal Kingdom just to walk through this area after the sun goes down. This is beautiful, beautiful. The colors are so vibrant, the dark lights. This is amazing, I absolutely love this. What a night, hit up Nomad Lounge. That place was great. Hit up Pandora at night, you won't be disappointed. This is Lee signing off. Y'all have a good night and I know it's dark. Take care and we'll catch you hopping on Park Hopping.